far, we've been able to take our brand new Expression Engine site, we've got it installed on our system, we've created our very first channel, but right now the world is not seeing anything. So today we're going to take our brand new page channel and we're going to create our very first template setup. And so with that, let's build. Templates are how Expression Engine manages all of the content on the front end and what is publicly displayed to our front end users. So we created our page channel last time and we created our very first home page. Today we're going to create our very first template group and work with our very first channel entries loop in order to get the content displayed on the page. So here I'm going to go to my developer menu and templates. And you can see this is where we will manage all of our templates, though our template creation we're actually going to do in code. Like we talked about last time, Expression Engine is a true content management system, which means that you will be working actively with the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Expression Engine templating code in order to display your, your site content. But the very first thing that we need to do is create our template group. So here's our group, and we're just going to call this default. Nice and easy, make it our default group, save our template group. And now if we go to explore our code here, and I go to my system, and close these, system, user, whoops, template, you can see now I have my default site and my default group. And a very basic index file that has nothing in there but and, and so you can see this too when i go to the very front page of my site i've got no content so but i can go into my default and we can say hello world and we have our very first template here so this will be where all of our starter magic will happen uh, we've set this as the default group so our page channel will work off this Congratulations, you've created your very first template. So let's actually dive into the channel entries loop in Expression Engine. So, and let's do that by taking a look at the documentation. Entries. The channel entries tag is how you get your content from your channels into your template. So there are a number of different parameters and everything that you can use in order to do that. But let's just take a real basic look here at the anatomy of a channel entries tag uh, in this example. So here you'll see that the channel and or that all expression engine uh, templating code is indicated by these curly brackets and then closed with a closing tag that has the same curly brackets and a slash prior to the tag. So here in our channel entries tag, we can see exp, which is the uh, short code for Expression Engine, channel entries. And that tells uh, the templating engine to look specifically at the channel entries function in the core. In this example, we're indicating that the channel equals news and news being the short name for the actual channel we're looking at. And here we're going to limit equals 10. Within there, it automatically pulls in all of the associated channel fields that are included in any entries found in the loop. So let's actually take a look here. So if I go back to our entries, actually, no, let's go to our channels first. So we know that our short name here is page. So let's actually go into the code. <clears throat> and we'll do exp colon channel colon entries. And then we'll say channel equals page. And then let's do our closing tag slash exp channel entries. And let's just see if we can see the title. So here we're doing our basic loop and turn on highlighting. We're doing our basic loop in our page channel 
and we're just going to call the title. So let's take a look. And there's the title of our homepage. So when we created this, we created this with a couple of different things. So let's go look at our fields again. So, and within our page group, we also have two additional fields that we created, our subtitle and our page content. So let's go back to our template and let's just wrap this for right now. We'll wrap this in H1 and then we'll create an H2 with our subtitle field. And you can see I'm using the short name for each of these fields. And then our page content field. So our page content field is a rich text field. So we're not going to wrap that in any code because it'll automatically output all of the HTML that it created when we did that. So let's take a look. And there is our very first template pulling in our homepage code. And you can see it created our bolded text that we did last time, our italicized text and our link off to the Expression Engine site. So congratulations, you just created your very first template. Now right now, it doesn't look so pretty and that's totally okay. In the repository, I'm going to add some styling so you can actually see uh, what it would look like on a design page. But for right now, uh, we have our channel entries loop what we want to do though, right now, this is going to loop through every single entry in our page channel. So let's, for example, take a look at that. So if I go to create another entry in our page, and we'll just call this contact page since we'll work with that a little bit later on. And I save that real quick. Now, when I go back to my template, now all of a sudden we're pulling in all of the pages, which is probably not what we want to do for our page content here. So we're going to take a look at specifically at one other parameter that we want to add here. And since we're going to be doing this, we're going to be using this for our homepage here. We're going to add URL title equals home page. Whoops, can't spell home page. And so all that's going to say is I want very specifically the content that's associated with this short title found in our pages. So if we go back to our home page, we're going to look at this URL title specifically. And when I do that and refresh our template, now all of a sudden we're back to one. There are a number of different ways that we'll explore to uh, limit and to uh, filter the content we want on the different pages. But for right now, we just want our homepage to just be a homepage. So what I would encourage you to do at this step is take a look at the channel entries documentation with the number of different parameters that you can use um, and explore there. Also, I encourage you to take a look at the repository uh, for this actual site, I'm going to go ahead and add the styling in there so you can take a look at the um, the pretty homepage that we'll be working with uh, throughout. But you can actually see the content in action here. So let's do that now. So now let's take a look at a little bit of the implemented design. Uh, again, your website can look however you want. I wanted to throw in some code to make this just a little bit pretty uh, so we weren't looking at just plain text on the screen. Uh, but what I did here in the code is add a basic CSS folder and I'm using um, uh, Tailwind in order to design this. So, and then our template is gonna look a little bit different. As you can see here, we still have our channel entries loop that we're going to be using and our fields implemented into our HTML. Here is our title field and our subtitle field. And then down here is our page content field. There are also some other sections that were added in. Um, but if you want to see this in action, let's actually take a look. We'll refresh. And here is our home page. Here's our subtitle. 
and here is our content here. So if I wanted to, whoops, if I wanted to go through and say, you amazing, you can't wait to read all of the things. And we'll hit save and we'll refresh our page and we can see that our content is updating. So here we go. I encourage you to take a look at the repository in order to see the full implementation here, but it's the same code that we just worked on, uh, just expanded into our actual HTML, CSS. So in the next video, what we're going to do is start to break out some of this content a little bit more. Let's actually take a look at what it looks like to add in our blog channel. And we're going to work a little bit more with our channel entry loops and with our templating here. So we'll see you in the next one.